so in today's video we are going to be looking at how to format a book in microsoft word for amazon kdp i have done videos like this on this channel before but in today's video we are going to be looking at a more in-depth way on how to format your book on microsoft word all right so before we get right into today's video if you're new to the channel or you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed yet please do well to smash on that red subscribe button and the bell notification icon also do not forget to give this video a like and a share as we go along the way and leave questions in the comment section below if you have any okay so let's get right into it okay so um if you are not going to be doing this for your book you could do this for other people all right so you could do it for other publishers out there and charge them for it so you could be getting as much as 20 to 50 dollars doing this all right okay so let's go so the first thing you should take into consideration when formatting your book that's assuming you've gotten your book from a ghostwriter or you've written it yourself is to always change the fonts that's the first thing i do so i like to use Times New Roman or Jeremond or sometimes Georgia. So depending on what you like. Okay. Then you also take note of the font size. So 11 or 12 is okay by me. Um, do not forget to you no know, control A. Select everything if you're using a if you're using a Windows. All right. I don't know what you're supposed to use for a MacBook because I use a Windows. So um, you control A. Select everything then come to your font type and change it to times so for the purpose of this video i think i would like to use jeremod so let's look for jeremod size 11 font size looks pretty okay so once that is done the next thing you want to do now is to work on the layout so we go to layout then we go to margin so under margin we come down here to where it says custom margins all right and we change 18 or 2 here so the first thing we will do is to come here to where it says multiple pages and change this to mirror margins all right ensure that this applies to the whole document so i'll leave everything the way it is but ensure that the outside is 0.6 and the gutter for your book is 0.12 okay i think that's the standard procedure or that's the standard what you could do whatever um thing you have in mind as long as it, it aligns with the kdp book requirement okay so after that we'll go to paper and for the paper you could change the width and the height depending on the one on the one that you want so it could be six by nine or um five by eight but for the purpose of this video we'll just leave this as 8.5 um, by 11 okay so if we come to the layout if you are going to format your book for both um, ebook and paperback okay because we are starting with ebook actually before we move on to paperback we are doing the two so if you are doing both i'll suggest that you take this um different or than even than different first pages different first page okay so you take this two um as well you see why as we go along when we get to um paperback that's the one for prints okay so when you're, once you're done with all of this you can now go ahead to click on okay all right so we're done with our margin so the next thing we want to do now is to go back to home once you control a everything then you click on align okay i like mine like that so once that is done um the next thing you also want to check is the spacing okay so um ideally the spacing as from 1.0 to 1.15 is okay by me the next thing now is to really focus on the book itself so we are going to be separating the title from the table of content to the headers and all of that okay so let me um, click on this I don't know what the name of this icon means but it's just something we use to check the spacing all right so the spacing not within the text but in between each sentence okay so that we'll know if it is one space or two spaces okay so i'll just click on it if you know the name just let me know in the comment section below all right so now let's go so we have um, on the first page we have uh, the title okay so for this page um, i could easily just click here like this and press enter okay on to uh, till i get to the next page i wouldn't be doing that so what i would do instead is to go to insert 
I use page break okay so I use page break so um, the copyright page is on its own now then next I want to separate the introduction page so this one will go to its own page then chapter one to its own page just like that so you separate all of them until you get to um, conclusion all right so yeah I am done with the page break okay so I want to edit the title now starting a real estate business your step-by-step -step guide to building success so I'll click on this go back to home home then I want to centralize this guy so I could easily make this bigger so let's see like 28 all right so you could do whatever you want to do with this you could make it bold you could change the fonts if you want to you could adjust this you know anything you want to do with it you could do all right but this looks pretty okay so the next thing i want to do now is to come to the copyright page this one is okay as well then yeah for all the headers i want to make them a heading because of our table of content so i'll make each of these a heading so for this you could also modify by right clicking then go to modify and adjust it as you deem fit so you could increase the size change the font let's change the font to jeremond as well and you could also change the color and let it be black okay so we'll leave this as okay all right so we go back to the, the next one chapter one here and just apply this to all of them so you could also centralize this if you want or you could leave it the way it is then you could also have um, like other sub headings so like here where it says key topic covered I could make this heading two if I like or even make this one here the different types of real estate whatever I could make this heading two as well so you could do that as well so let me just so when all of this is done when you're done with the heading and all that i want to now have a table of content so what i'll do is to come here and add another page break so i'll go to insert and add a page break so from here now i'll go back to um, i'll go to reference then come to table of content so i could take any of these contents that i want so i could take this all right okay so this is a table of content right here i could also so because this is an ebook we actually don't need all these numbers all right so what we can do is to go back to our page of content then go to custom table of content then remove this okay and just let it be hyperlink so i'll click on okay yes replace all right so as you can see now you it's very easy to just you know click on a particular chapter that you want so let's say if i want to go to chapter 4 all i simply need to do is just click on it so let me do that okay and there you have it that's chapter 4 because it's an ebook i don't need page numbers all right so i could easily remove this whatever this thing is right now so i'll go to home and remove it okay so that everything looks pretty okay all right so um i think that's pretty much it with the ebook so for the paperback here um we just simply need to so you could easily come here um to file so you could easily save all of this and make a copy all right make a copy that set aside as your ebook because now we are going into the uh, paperback so for the paperback the first thing add headers and footers so i'll go to insert then i will i will add headers and headers and footers okay so remember what we did with that odd and even pages okay and i think we also okay we excluded first page so you could easily now come here so let's say either type the the title of the book or the author of the book okay so because this is too long i'll just click on starting a real estate business so let's say i'll type for the even pages i'll say something for this like starting, starting a real estate business. 
so that will practically appear on all odd pages so for the even pages you could add something else like i didn't add the name of the author so i could just you know give it any pen name maybe like on then double click outside okay so we have for the even pages john wick why for the odd pages the title of the book so this looks pretty okay so after that i'll return back to the table of contents okay so i'll go back to reference then go to custom table contents now i want to remove hyperlinks and i'm adding page numbers so we have show page numbers and show right align page numbers so i'll click on okay and i'll click on this okay so we have our page numbers here and we could also another thing we've not added to our book is the footer so um we go to page number and we add page numbers where let's say at the bottom of the page of our book okay so this looks very okay all right so we have our page numbers now we have our page numbers we fixed our headers and we also fixed our um, page numbers and we fixed our title so everything about this book looks pretty okay so what you have to do next is just go through it and look check for any error and see that everything is okay but this is a pretty simple way to format your book and to me this books this book looks quite okay so let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and if you have any questions as to what we have done here today let me know in the comment section as well but we have come to the end of today's video and um thank you for watching do not forget to give this video a like and a share and smash on that red subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel so till i see you again in the next video thank you for watching god bless you and peace out